bad guys this is preeti and you're watching med dissolution in the previous video i co have covered uh, the name for glycolysis definition site that is starting material that is substrate end product and anaerobic glycolysis conditions the complete reaction pathway the enzymes uh, involved all these have been covered in the my in my previous video because of shortage of time i could not complete the entire glycolysis in the same video so i am doing another reactions has such reactions that takes place with the uh, lack of oxygen where oxygen is uh, deprivative there anaerobic reactions uh, takes place as we already have discussed that a pyruvate is formed in the glycolysis this is the end product of uh, glycolysis in both aerobic and anaerobic uh, uh, conditions pyruvate is converted into lactate with help of lactate dehydrogenase enzyme nad plus h plus ion Combines to form NADH and inhibitors of the glycolysis. Inhibitors means it stops the glycolysis. These are the inhibitors of glycolysis: iodoacetate and arsenite. This stops uh, gly glycolysis at uh, by inhibiting the enzyme glyceraldehyde three phosphate dehydrogenase. Here is the glyceraldehyde three phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme. So conversion of glyceraldehyde three phosphate to one three bisphosphoglyceride is inhibited. So glycolysis uh, stops at this. Uh, position and other inhibitors inhibitors may be asked for three mark question and other inhibitor is fluoride fluoride inhibit enolase 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 is here mm, enolase is here and the uh, fluoride inhibit uh, enolase that uh, so it prevents the conversion of two phosphoglycerate to phosphoenol pyruvate that is pep so uh, glycolysis st stops at this place uh, during estimation of glucose enolase is added uh, so that we, it doesn't give false uh, false uh, lower value because if you know enolase is not added uh, like if fluoride is not added uh, the enolase enzyme will be active and then it continues glycolysis so glucose will be broken down glycolysis takes place and glucose will be bro broken down mm, so it gives a lower uh, lower uh, than the actual value of the glucose in the blood so we cannot estimate like accurate value we won't get accurately we'll get little accurately if we uh, use fluoride which is an inhibitor of enolase by, by preventing reactions has such reactions that takes place with uh, lack of oxygen where oxygen is uh, deprivative there anaerobic reactions uh, takes place as we already have discussed that a pyruvate is formed in the glycolysis this is the end product of uh, glycolysis in both aerobic and anaerobic uh, uh, conditions pyruvate is converted into lactate with help of lactate dehydrogenase enzyme nad plus h plus ion Mm, combines to form NADH and inhibitors of the glycolysis. Inhibitors means it stops the glycolysis. These are the inhibitors of glycolysis: iodoacetate and arsenite. This stops uh, gly glycolysis at uh, by inhibiting the enzyme glyceraldehyde three phosphate dehydrogenase. Here is the glyceraldehyde three phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme. So conversion of glyceraldehyde three phosphate to one three bisphosphoglyceride is inhibited. So glycolysis st stops at this. Uh, Position and other inhibitors. Inhibitors may be asked for three mark question. And other inhibitor is fluoride. Fluoride inhibit enolase. Enolase. Enolase is here. Mm, enolase is here. And the uh, fluoride inhibit uh, enolase. That uh, also it prevents the conversion of two phosphoglyceride to phosphoenol pyruvate. That is PEP. So uh, glycolysis st stops at this place. Uh, during estimation of glucose, enolase is added. Uh, so that we, it doesn't give false uh, false uh, lower value because if you know enolase is not added uh, like if fluoride is not added uh, the enolase enzyme will be active and then it continues glycolysis so glucose will be broken down glycolysis takes place and glucose will be bro broken down mm, so it gives a lower uh, lower uh, than the actual value of the glucose in the blood so we cannot estimate like accurate value we won't get accurately we'll get little accurately if we uh, use fluoride which is an inhibitor of enolase by, by preventing the glycolysis and energetics energetics in aerobic and anaerobic will be different aerobic as like, of course aerobic produces uh, more energy than anaerobic Aero aerobic uh, conditions as we have already discussed the glycolysis this entire thing where it takes place uh, so here one atp is utilized here ATP is utilized, so ATP has become ADP, and here one ATP is utilized, so ATP has become ADP. So two ATPs has, uh, are utilized in aerobic condition where and an anaerobic condition, but uh, the products will be uh, in aerobic condition. Um, NADH.
it is a glycolysis in aerobic condition and anaerobic condition before it was considered like for one nadh three atps has been produced but uh, in the recent thing they have found out that for one nadh only 2.5 atps has been produced we'll see how it is in any AT etc that is electron transport chain it takes place in the mitochondria you already know that my mitochondria is a double membrane structure in the in the inner mitochondrial membrane and the etc like electron transport chain oxidative phosphorylation will take place it has five complexes complex one Two, three, four, and three, four, and five, uh, and there will be a proton gradient across the membrane. In the first, for NADH, if NADH enters uh, the ETC in the first complex, uh, four uh, protons has been pumped out. In the uh, third complex, four protons has been pumped out. When the fourth complex, two protons has been pumped out. In case of NADH, if NADH enters, so totally ten protons has been. And then protons has been pumped out for NADH, and you already know that uh, for uh, the production of one ATP, uh, we requires uh, four uh, protons to be pumped out. Uh, so uh, the, there are total uh, one for this one for four protons for one ATP, and this for other ATP, four protons for other ATP, and these two protons will be half ATP. Uh, so totally for NADH, two point five ATPs has been. Uh, produced for when uh, NADH enters oxidative phosphorylation, so 2.5 ATPs has been produced. If FADH enters, it directly enters here, so for complex one won't be there. Uh, four plus uh, four, for four protons, one ATP, and uh, for two protons, 0.5 ATP. So for FADH, this is for NADH, NADH, 2.5 ATPs. For FADH, uh, DH, it will be 1.5 ATP. Uh, so, uh, for uh, if one if NADH is, has been produced, NADH has produced the glycolysis. It enters ETC and produces 2.5 ATP. If one FADH is produced in any reaction or any cycles, so 1.5 ATPs has been produced. Uh, you can see in this uh, uh, here two ATPs has been utilized. That means ATP has been converted into ADP. Here ATP has been con uh, converted into ADP. This is uh, say, same for both aerobic and anaerobic conditions. So we have to minus. Uh, uh, two uh, ATP from the uh, like a total uh, produced will be here. I have already told from year to year there will be two times that the same reaction will be taking place because these two are isomers. This can be converted into this and again it undergoes this reaction. Uh, uh, so uh, from year to year there will be two reactions. So one NADPH is produced means other uh, this thing also will undergo. So two NADH has, has been produced. Two NADH. Uh, so. Three twos are uh, before as before uh, as per the before thing the, the one for one NADH will be equal to three so three twos are six and recent thing two into um, two point five that is two point five we consider so two point five that will be five uh, five and ATP is produced will be one and two uh, so this takes place two pl twi twice so two uh, two twos are four and here uh, net uh, four ATP four ATP plus from NADH six ATP so net ATP will be like total ATP will be uh, ten. Um, we have to minus the utilization thing here two ATPs have been utilized so we have to minus these things so we will get net ATP uh, before uh, how we were considering that will be 8 and in recent thing uh, uh, in place of uh, 3 we will uh, substitute as a 2.5 uh, so 5 plus 4 that 9 minus 2 that will be 7 uh, recently they have modified that is they have updated this thing uh, from 8 ATP to 7 ATP and in anaerobic condition NADH has been produced will be 0 see uh, NADH here uh, it has been produced uh, here NADH has been produced but this this is again utilized here uh, so NADH it again it, it is utilized in this reaction so we we uh, consider net NADH produced will be zero ATP produced will be four as usual this uh, year and year year and year so into two this 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 takes place twice so into two uh, so net NAD, ATP produced will be four uh, so we have to minus the two because uh, this has been utilized. Utilize uh, here, so we have to minus this two. So net ATP will be uh, four minus two will be two. Net gain ATP in anaerobic condition will be two. In aerobic condition, according to recent thing, it will be seven. And one one thing you have to note is like NADH. Even though if NADH is there, if there is a lack of oxygen, it doesn't undergo oxidative phosphorylation to produce ATP. So we we should not count NADPH in uh, case of anaerobic conditions. If it can, it doesn't have oxygen. That is, if we, uh, the cell lack oxygen, we should not count NADH. NADH enters mitochondria. In the inner mitochondria, ETC or oxidative phosphorylation takes place and to form two ATP. That is in mitochondria. Uh, 
significance of the significance of glycolysis is to pro produce uh, provide energy for the cell reaction metabolic reactions that is taking place in a cell it provides energy and in an anaerobic condition like in uh, um, skeletal muscles when you do severe exercise uh, all oxygen that has been uh, inhaled will be uh, like uh, consumed so th that creates anaerobic condition this will be only energy that that is taking place because of it, it the, the skeletal muscles lacks oxygen now so etc cannot takes place so only uh, glycolysis provides energy in, in such cases and production of 2,3 dpg 2,3 dpg helps in uh, the dissociation of oxyhemoglobin and to produce ox uh, provide oxygen to the uh, tissues and it helps in gluconeogenesis as i already told you that all the steps in this glycolysis are reversible except first step third step and 10th step 1 3 and 10 all are reversible so from again from pyruvate we can produce glucose so production of glucose is gluconeogenesis it also helps in gluconeogenesis production of glucose almost all reactions are reversible except 3 1 3 and 10 regulation will be there are some en enzymes regulation means like in uh, when oxygen demand like uh, energy demand will be more uh, it has to like uh, glycolysis should takes place breakdown of glucose should takes place to provide energy when uh, the uh, the cell has a sufficient amount of energy then in order to takes place uh, so energy requirement it depends on energy requirement if uh, energy demand is more glycolysis uh, rate of glycolysis will be more if energy demand is less rate of glycolysis will be less and these are the enzymes which regulate the uh, glycolysis that is HK that is hexokinase, GK glucokinase, PFK phosphofructokinase and PK pyruvate kinase. Mm, these and regulatory enzyme that are specific regulatory enzyme is a pyruvate kinase which uh, which has been reacted like uh, been uh, performed as an enzyme in a last re last step that is pyruvate kinase. Mm, these are regulatory enzymes and that's all for this video. I have come completed the entire glycolysis like. Uh, uh, other name for glycolysis this is phenomenon uh, definition site starting material end product that is substrate end product and it will be glycolysis and why this uh, for, for that uh, contradiction that is why NADPH before we were considering uh, any one NADPH will be equal in 2 3 ATP and now why it is uh, 2 ATP and the reaction pathway complete reaction pathway in anaerobic uh, reaction how it takes place and the inhibitors of glycolysis this is a separately they have they'll be asking for three mark question energetics and um, significance regular significance is also important uh, and regulation and note point regulatory enzyme which will be asked for mcq thank you